is the place where I get my stuff for fishing, uh, doing this tenure fishing, uh, also my live bait, live prawn, my tenure setup. So this is a hi Fat, how are you? Hey hi. So can you share with us a little bit of this uh, tenure fishing? What is all about? And tenure what, what fishing. You, yeah, what do you recommend for beginners? Mm hmm. Okay, uh, there's no such thing as a recommendation for beginners, uh, intermediate or maybe advanced, alright. The best way is to have a proper ideal setup, which is a light setup or it depends on uh, the game style that you are going to play. Okay, let's start with uh, Tenya. Tenya is a game uh, invented in Japan, which is a, a light game, it's not heavy game. Don't go for those uh, 200 grams, 300 grams, all those kind of jigs. Alright, basically they are, they are implementing about uh, big groupers as well. So. Tenya fishing is a uh, Tenya, Tairaba, and uh, Inchiku. They are all going for moderate size, which is uh, the most productive size, from one to three kilo. Uh, five kilo is a jackpot, or maybe bigger, right? Bigger achievement uh, using a light tackle setup. So basically, what we are talking about is uh, from PE 0 0.8 up to PE 1.5. That's the ideal recommended lines, right? And uh, jig weights from uh, 20 grams up to 60 to 80, maybe, all right? That depends on uh, the water depth. So having a proper setup is very important. A sinking PE lines, a smaller reels, a nice uh, versatile jigging rods, as well as uh, a good size weight of your jigs. So it is uh, very important. It must not be too expensive, and uh, it must not be too cheap as well. All right? We rather go safe because your fishing trip might cost you maybe hundred to two hundred dollars. So you don't want to end up uh, breaking your rods and uh, not being productive catch. So. Let me show you on uh, some of what we have. For example, uh, if you love a Shimano, we have a quite a range from uh, Shimano and Getsu. We have uh, the entry level, right? These are not for beginners, right? These are entry levels, which is actually good. Costing at around two hundred and fifty dollars, right? Soft spiral guides with a soft tough tech tips. This is actually to enhance your sensitivity. It's not supposed to be too stiff, right? So basically. How do you know that uh, the fish is biting? Usually most of the anglers they are using is a uh, thick rods. Basically these are the tip which is too stiff. So when the fishes take your jigs, right? Basically uh, what happens is they don't feel much. This is the tip example from here. They don't feel much. Resistant you mean? Yes. Yeah, so basically most of the anglers they are waiting for this rod blank to actually bend more. But totally it's wrong. This has to be when the fish bite from a tenure rod, right? It's very soft. Based off, and the fish does not feel any resistance, right? So basically, you are there to feel as well as to visualize that the rod tip is already there and it's already time for you to set, right? That is very important. So it's really soft. And tenure is all about bouncing up and down. The reason why we are bouncing up and down, we are trying to get as close to the ground. So once your tenure or your madai or those kind of bottom jigs touches the ground, you have to quickly lift it up slowly, not too fast not too fast and not too slow because you need to feel every movement there will be tension so you're going down you're going up so when there's a bike level you can feel you can feel right that is very important so basically when you're doing high stroke low stroke too fast your line is slacking down and the fish take it's not really sensitive so you have to feel every pinch every nibble equals to one fish right uh, just said, don't worry. Don't worry about losing the fish or anything. That's for fishing, right? It's not about a win-win situation. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, right? That's for fishing. So having a soft rod is very important. We have landed multiple kinds of uh, size, from three kilo, five kilo, eight kilos, right? On a light tackle rods, and uh, this is costing only at two hundred and fifty dollars, right? To start with, it also comes in a uh, moderate range, three hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, one of my customers, they actually went into extreme, they go for sailfish. Uh, it's a foul hook, alright? They went down there for, for those kind of uh, groupers, but eventually the sailfish took up the jigs and it landed successfully, right? As well as uh, some big cobias. It's very soft. What rod is that? These are the Shimano Engitsu, right? The SS series. These are costing at around $380, right? $380. Soft, sensitive can tick up to 140 grams so these are ideal right, to have it's a butt joy rod so you can actually transport anywhere anytime that you want okay can so, we so, use a rod yeah. like uh, 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 from P2 to P4 
for to play this uh, tenure, what's your advice? Okay, yes, you can still use that, but uh, eventually you will uh, lose sensitivity. Alright, if you're using a tenure, I will say at least 70 to 80 percent of sensitivity that you will actually feel. For example, let me show you okay, maybe a Saudiga. Right, it's a good strong rod. This is a P24. It's stiff. Stiff. See? For this, I can feel my, my hand is shaking right now. Alright? See? So basically, when you're bouncing up and down, this rod is too stiff for 60 gram jigs. So basically, when the fish started to pull, they will actually feel some tension and they will actually eventually throw out the jigs. So that is very important. You lose one fish. And most of the anglers right now, out there, they are waiting for the, the fish to nibble, 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 nibble. And they are waiting for just nibble, 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 right, forever. Until the rod bend this way. Then they will start to set, having the confidence. But that's not totally right or wrong. But with a tenure setup, the difference is soft. I don't feel anything stress from my hands, right? But I can feel, I can see. It's very soft. It's time for you to set. Right, these are effortless, so the fish does not struggle, they will actually pull and you know you can see it's time for you to set instead of waiting for the rod to really bend. Right? So the sensitivity is totally 70% and 30%. Right? That's the total sensitivity. So if you are going for big groupers, right? Uh, to be honest with you, I can see uh, many anglers they are using this kind of uh, bigger rods, thick lines, uh, bigger weights. Aiming for the big groupers, yes, uh, it's good. If it's a, uh, how to say that uh, I don't see much of this uh, kind of a uh, 10 kilo groupers productively, productive catch, right? In uh, in our southern waters, but the one to three kilos to five kilos, that's the most uh, best catch using the proper size of rods, right? You will feel the rod bending, right? That's the orgasm in fishing instead of uh, using all these kind of uh, thick rods. Uh -huh. Even for tenias. Uh, there's a lot of uh, few types of tenyas. Some it looks like a tenya, but it's actually an uh, expensive uh, sinker with a uh, china hook, right? I will say that it does not perform well like a proper tenya, like from Taiwan, Shimano, and all those uh, Japan makers. Right? Uh, eventually, it costs half the price. But uh, still catch some fish. No worries. Uh, it's just that uh, how it's supposed to be, right? How it's supposed to work does not tell you by uh, what is the game for. And also use uh, the live bits is good. The important thing is uh, the, the eye of the shrimps, right? Uh, uh, some anglers they are also using uh, fake rubbers. You may try fake rubbers, like uh, from Z-Man, Maria, all these. Eventually, uh, they ran out, ran out of uh, the live prawns. So basically, they are using rubbers. Yes, it works as well. So these are all the games that you can actually try. Kenya is fun to play. These are the PE lines that we are talking about. If you are going for like a Spectra lines like Power Pro, uh, Berkeley, Whiplash, they are quite thick, right? So basically, they are 30 pounds is a example equivalent to a 50 pounds of a Japanese uh, PE lines. So it's totally different. So sinking line is uh, much important. It's slim, it sinks, but uh, lack of power due to abrasion, right? So basically, jigging is a one to one, right? You and the fish and the jig. That's all. There's no obstacle uh, to be in the game. So basically, these are the sinking lines that you can actually go for. Like what we have right now is a uh, dual, the YGK, the Sigua, and a uh, Tore. Right, you can actually look for this. For the leaders, you can go for like maybe 60 to 25 pounds. That is sufficient, right? Don't go for the stiff leader, but you go for the softest leader, fluorocarbon FC. And uh, these are one of our favorite, Tore Hyper EX, right? We are going for the number five, the number four, up to number six. Well, these are the, from 16 to 20 pounds. And uh, these are some of our tenias that we have. One of our favorites by uh, many anglers out there. It's been uh, catching a lot of uh, quality fishes like uh, parrotfish, coral trout, snappers and more. It comes from uh, size eight, which is uh, 30 grams up to 60 grams. These are by pumps. The cha-cha dancing tenia, basically it goes down wobbling, right? Nicely well balanced with the shrimps. So what's the heaviest jig for the tenia that you have? Like uh, for what we have right now is uh, maybe up to 60 grams only. 60 grams. And uh, our local favorites, they are going at number 8 and number 10. Because they are using a light tenia rods. 
So basically they can feel all these kind of jigs going down. We don't require all those uh, big jigs. So we also have a daiwa. We also have the running sliders. The running sliders, uh, it works like a madai. But it's not a madai because uh, the SC soak is actually attached to your leader. And the sinker is actually running through your leader. So basically it's like a running sinker. Right? It's a slider then yeah. More that I can uh, help you with. Okay, now I need uh -huh. to get some prawns. Uh, for the, get some prawns, huh? Yeah, for my session. session. Thanks for your advice. And, no problem, uh, no problem. Uh, we come back for more tips from you. Yeah, Thank you. Okay.